Don't forget, please. Practice makes perfect. So that's the only way to learn English. Good morning, sir. I have been looking for you the whole morning. Finally, I found you. Hello, Jim. Were you looking for me? Well, here I am. What can I do for you? Hi, teacher. I've been really frustrated lately because I make so many mistakes when I speak English. It's making me lose confidence and I feel like giving up. I'm sorry to hear that you're feeling this way, but making mistakes is actually a natural part of learning a new language. We can work on strategies to help you improve and build your confidence. I know making mistakes is normal, but it's just frustrating when I can't seem to get a sentence. Out without stumbling over words or getting tenses wrong. I understand how you feel. It can be discouraging when you're not able to express yourself the way you want to. Let's break down the situation and see how we can address it. That sounds like a good plan. I really want to become more fluent and sound more natural when I speak. First off, remember that everyone makes mistakes even native speakers. It's how we learn and improve. Instead of focusing on the mistakes, focus on the progress you're making. I'll try to shift my perspective and focus more on the progress I'm making rather than the mistakes. But how can I actively work on reducing those mistakes? One effective approach is to practice speaking slowly and clearly. Focus on enunciating each word and using simpler sentence structures. As you become more comfortable, you can gradually increase the complexity of your sentences. Speaking slowly and clearly sounds like a practical approach. I'll try that and hopefully it'll help me reduce the mistakes. But what if I'm still worried about making mistakes in front of others? It's okay to have that concern, but remember that most people are understanding and patient. When you're learning a new language, Surround yourself with supportive individuals who will encourage your efforts. You're right. Having supportive people around can make a big difference. I'll try to practice more with my friends who understand my learning journey. That's a great idea. And don't hesitate to correct yourself when you realize you've made a mistake. It's a valuable learning opportunity, and it shows that you're actively working on improving. I'll make sure to correct myself whenever I make a mistake. It might feel a bit awkward, but I understand it's important for my progress. What about practicing alone? Practicing alone can also be beneficial. You can record yourself speaking on various topics and then listen to the recordings. This helps you identify areas where you tend to make mistakes. Recording myself speaking sounds like a helpful way to pinpoint my weaknesses. It's like having a language assessment right at home. What if I don't know a word while speaking? If you can't recall a specific word, try using synonyms or describing the word you're looking for.
Native speakers often understand and appreciate the effort you're putting into the conversation. Using synonyms or descriptions is a practical solution. It keeps the conversation flowing even. When I can't remember a specific word, how can I build my vocabulary to avoid stumbling over words? Regularly reading books, articles, and watching movies or TV shows in English can expose you to new words and phrases. Make a habit of noting down unfamiliar words and looking up their meanings. I'll make an effort to read and watch more content in English. Keeping track of unfamiliar words will definitely help me expand my vocabulary. But what about grammar mistakes? Improving grammar takes time and practice. Focus on one aspect at a time, like tenses or sentence structure. Review the rules. Do exercises, and gradually integrate them into your conversations. Taking it step by step and focusing on specific grammar aspects sounds more manageable. I'll make sure to practice each aspect thoroughly before moving on. How can I gain more confidence? Confidence comes with practice and positive reinforcement. Celebrate your small victories. Like successfully holding a conversation or using a new word correctly. The more you practice, the more confident you'll become. Celebrating small victories is a great idea. It'll remind me that I'm making progress, even if it's gradual. How can I challenge myself to speak more fluently? Engaging in conversations on topics that interest you is a wonderful way to challenge yourself. Try discussing those topics in English with friends or language exchange partners. The more you immerse yourself, the more fluent you'll become. Engaging in conversations about topics I'm passionate about sounds exciting. I'll definitely give it a shot. What if I want to practice more structured conversations? You can find conversation partners online or join language exchange groups. These platforms provide opportunities to have focused conversations and receive feedback to help you improve. Finding conversation partners online or joining language exchange groups seems like a practical way to practice structured conversations. What about when I don't have anyone to practice with? You can talk to yourself in English, describing your day or discussing a topic you're interested in. It might feel a bit odd at first, but it's a great way to practice speaking when you're alone. Talking to myself in English is something I've never tried before, but it's worth a shot. I guess it's like practicing my thoughts out loud. How can I stay motivated on this journey? Set achievable goals for yourself, like having a certain number of conversations each week or learning a specific number of new words. Reward yourself when you achieve these goals, and remember, why you started this journey in the first place. Setting achievable goals and rewarding myself when I reach them sounds like a great way to stay motivated. 
and keeping my initial motivation in mind will definitely help me stay focused. Thank you for all these strategies, teacher. Important steps towards becoming a more confident English speaker. Keep practicing, and I'm here to support you along the way. I really appreciate your support and guidance, teacher. I'm feeling more motivated to work on my speaking skills now. That's fantastic to hear. Just remember that every time you practice, you're getting closer to your goal. Don't give up, and keep pushing forward. I won't give up. Thank you for the encouragement, teacher. I'm excited to continue on this journey to becoming a more fluent English speaker. You've got this. Keep up the positive attitude and hard work. I'm looking forward to seeing your progress. I'll definitely stay in touch and keep practicing. Have a wonderful day. You too. Keep up the great work and take care. Dear listeners, I hope you like this conversation. If you cool and improve your English a little more, please subscribe to the channel and share this video with friends. And if you want to support this channel, you can join us or click on the Soper Think button. Thanks.